Hi everyone. This question here says determine the domain and range of the following relation. Okay, here we go. We're going to figure out the domain and range. Okay. Uh, now there's a little bit of a glare happening there. Uh, this is a filled in circle there. Okay. It, whoops, that looks even worse. It's getting all shiny there. Got to get rid of that. There you go. That's a little bit better. It is a filled in circle here. This one is an open circle. Okay. So what we're seeing here, let's talk about the domain first. Now you'll see in the <coughs> sorry in the notation here we're using a capital D colon to represent the domain and capital R colon to represent the the range. Now that's maybe not even the best notation for that, but it, it gets the idea across right now. The domain refers to all the values of the independent variable here, which is x in this case. Okay, all of them, going from negative two out to this number right here, 3, but, but not including 3, okay? Includes negative 2 because it's a, a filled in circle, but it doesn't include uh, the 3. Now, we'd have to, in order to get this correct, we'd have to list all of the numbers, okay, along the x-axis that, that are being used to create this, this uh, relation here. But that's impossible. There's an infinite number of them, okay? Because I'm, I would be referring to all of the real numbers between negative 2 and 3. So now, how do I communicate that? Well, what I do is I, I actually, I state it that way. I state that it's all real numbers, okay, from negative two out to three, but not including three, okay? From negative two, greater than or equal to negative two, not including three, up to three though. And these are all going to be real numbers. Now you don't always have to identify the the number system we're dealing with, but often you will. So that's that's going to be our range. Uh, sorry, our domain there. Our range is going to be all of the the values of the dependent variable, all of the y coordinates. So we look horizontally for the range. We look vertically. Sorry, we look horizontally for the domain. I should say, vertically for the range. So vertically, okay. When we look at the y coordinates here, we're including this point, but this is zero, and we go up to three. Okay. So zero is the low part of our range. So the y coordinates will be greater than that and it goes up to but not including three. And all of the y values that we're looking at are gonna be real numbers. Now we just have to compare that to our options here. Well, it's not the first one, okay? We have got an infinite number of actual values here, not just this group of, of what is that, five and four there. Okay, so let's take a quick look here. Our, our domain here is looks like negative x out to 3. Well, we've got more information than that. So that actually doesn't make any sense as an option there. And now notice what they've done here. They've, they've got this as less than or equal to less than. Now, that is true. This next one here, it kind of fails on two accounts because that really should have been, um, sorry, that really should have been uh, a number here, should have been the negative 2. And this should have been uh, less than. I shouldn't be including the three, okay? And I can say the same thing over here for the range, okay? This is the correct range here, uh, but again, it's not matched up with the correct value for the domain. This one here, this one fails right there, okay? Um, actually, okay, I'm gonna have to, I have to change this a little bit. Uh, these probably should have been twos there. <laughs> I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna put, let's put the twos in there. I will go correct that on the, on the file there that you're working with. Uh, in that particular case, if that's true, then the answer does become B. Okay, so let me let me circle B here and we'll make that the correct answer here and I will go through and fix that for you guys. This one here fails because it includes the three and it shouldn't. This one here includes the three and it shouldn't. Here, this one doesn't include the negative two and it should and this one doesn't include the zero and it should. So those ones go away. We're gonna push the answer here and make it equal to the B.